So yeah, welcome to our latest project, this C63 S AMG. Let's take a look around. So, as you can see, this floor looks relatively OEM. It's raised up by about two inches and it's cooled from the sides because underneath it we have a full amplifier rack. Yeah, the client wanted it relatively discreet, so we've got a prefab subwoofer enclosure, the JL TW5. Its output's so good for the size of the box. These, um, the C63 boots, when they're completely empty, they're relatively um, relatively shallow as they are, so you can't really put a, a large subwoofer in it and it'd be lost. For such a, you know, it's a mid-sized car. Usually we'd be able to, to, to add a, a slightly larger woofer, but this, the, the TW5 deals with output with its displacement and then it just sort of squashes the subwoofer down. So a lot of people don't believe in, uh, they don't trust slimline subwoofers, but you'd have to hear something like this. Or if you have headphones, listen to the bass from the original recording for, from when the video first started. Underneath here is your amplifier rack. This comes out, you lift it up from the sides take it out like so. As you can see that was out in seconds. Access to your fuses, power cables, your fusing for your DSP, AV Quattro, AV 51K, mid bases, bridged, tweeters, mid range and subwoofer duties. You'll notice a pattern, all right? We, we, we tend to use this system a lot with our higher end systems. It's extremely solid and stable and it sounds fantastic. The DSP and amplification stage in this car is, 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 is just brilliant. Yeah, so yeah, a firm favorite of ours. So that's the boot, that's what's going on in here. We've also got things you can't see that are tucked away. So we're using a Zen M module in here to convert the fiber optic or the command digital network that's in the car um, to let that know that we've removed the Burmester amplifier and we've, uh, you know, we want to accept coding from that most ring and we want to send it out via standard SP diff, so fiber optic input to the DSP. So we're, we're noiseless in terms of any RF or EMF transmission, you know, so we don't get any, any strange noises on the system because we're, we're digital in. There's no noise on the analog outputs. Yeah, so fantastic. Let's have a look around the front. There's less to see there, but away we go. So, like I touched on in the back, we're digitally integrated in this car, which means none of the functionality of the car changes whatsoever. We do get a DRC, as you can see in the centre console. That allows us to adjust our sub base, balance, change settings, things like that. Um, and many other features, to be fair. We can match it up to the lighting in the car. Now, where this lighting in this car is completely adjustable, we'll leave it stock and we'll let the client deal with that. So, uh, up front, we've got the Audison AP8 mid base driver in a custom baffle in the front firewall. In the Premium Plus cars, you get a dual mid base, so you've got you know, stereo mid base basically. Um, Hertz Melee Legend 3 inch mid range and the Hertz Melee Legend tweeter in here, so the ML700 and the ML280 up front in the factory location, so we don't have any, there's no aesthetic signs in the car that there's a system in here other than the subwoofer on the boot floor, you know. If there was a way we could tuck that away, we would, but they have a very strange boot floor in the C-Class, so as you can see, we've had to make a custom floor which kind of waves up towards the back and it gets rid of that and flattens it off. So, that's about it for this one. This one, uh, this is another international car, so this one's going to the Cayman Islands.
it's had a lot done, you know. It does, just doesn't look like it's had a lot done. So it's a big system, this. The sound upgrade is massive. The Burmester system from Mercedes is probably the better out of the bunch of all the OEM systems, but it still doesn't hit the mark when it comes to, you know, our level of sound, really. As you've heard from the beginning, you, you, you'll get all sorts of room information from it playing like that. That's not how it's designed to play, you know. Stu's records. See, so yeah, like I was saying, that's not a real, a realistic, um, realistic shot at what the car sounds like. It's time aligned, tuned for the driver, you know, so everything is set up for the driver. There's slight equalization going on. We don't have to do loads because the Zen unit takes care of flattening out the signal and that does show when we mic it up. So yeah, wicked system this and you'd hardly know it was there. Plenty of volume too, which is always fun. If you've got a Mercedes, and you want to come through, these upgrade really well. The C-Class, E-Class, any of the Premium Plus or even the, the basic ones, you know, they just upgrade extremely well. Let us know. I'm Carl. This is Studio in Car. Take it easy.